Hey there, I'm Kate and this is Monocat. And today we have our second unboxing, but our first EUC unboxing. So let's get this started. Just a short little note on the side, as you probably noticed, my upload schedule is a bit all over the place and this is due to me writing my bachelor thesis. So as soon as I finish that, I hopefully can go back to a more regular, like every two weeks schedule again. And I'm very much looking forward to that. I guess that's that. Mm -hmm. So we bought this wheel at Voltride with our own money for a special discounted price, but still it is not sponsored, but bought. What is it? What is it? You want to know what is it? Let's yes. look at the title of the video. Okay. But if you don't want to do that, for whatever reasons, that's up to you. You don't have to. It's a King Song 16X. Yeah, and I will replace the Tesla, the Tesla V2 I have with this wheel due to multiple reasons. One is just that the low foot pedals are not that friendly in a city environment with a lot of bumps in the road. And also that I was trying out the Kingsong 16X from a fellow rider here in Warsaw and I really enjoyed riding it. And I was also wanting a wheel where I can feel safe going out in a bit of a bad weather with it without being scared of any cutouts or failures of the wheel, basically. But nonetheless, it is here and we're gonna open it. Mm. Mm. And we bought it at World Ride um, because they had it in stock. There's a very low stock of wheels in general in Europe, so we decided to go with Volt Ride because they had it. And it was fairly simple to get it also. It was here pretty quickly. And also friendly people. And they're friendly people! Check them out! <laughs> okay, um, this is this is the sticker, right? The fancy sticker? No, actually this is a different sticker. What is this sticker? The sticker is, I think, poisonous material. Ah. I looked it up recently, this is not the it sticker. To it's toxic. <laughs> Mm, other end. I don't think there's the battery stickers on it. No. Illegal. It's a double box action. As I saw in one of the Jimmy Chang videos recently, double box is always great. So that's amazing that we have a double box action. Would be funny if there's a third box inside. Just for the jokes. No. So we have a charger cable, we have the user manual and we have the charger. It's a fuse. And we have a fuse. And we have a yeah. second fuse. <laughs> With the charger cable, we have the charger. Um, it has 1.5, so it's not fast charger. No. no. So that will take 12 hours. Yeah, I think what I read is like around 12 hours. Eight to 12 hours they said for charging the wheel, so. And that looks like it's a fanless charger. You can just run it whenever and you won't get annoyed by it. We also got two fuse. A bit like a IKEA DIY project. I have the feeling it's going on. I would just leave it in the background. Pretty sure it's for the wheels. Not, I don't think it's for the charger. But I'll yeah. have to ask them. I don't think it's for the charger. I don't know how you open the charger. If you should open the charger, <laughs> we have the user menu. I think it's just the general what the wheel can do. And like also some explanation, obviously how to take care of it and how to learn to write. I saw online, I don't know if that's true, but I saw online that you have to ride at least 10 miles on the wheel before you can unlock the full speed of it. Something like that, yeah. I wonder if it's like 
hard coded in the wheel, is it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the first couple of rides gonna be slow because this is a brand new wheel. <laughs> well, at least that's what they told us. Got styrofoam. And here's the wheel. Also packed in multiple layers. So that should be very safe. And I will now <clears throat> have the joy of pulling it out of the box. Let's see. We're just gonna see. It's just a bit heavier than the Tesla. I can lift the Tesla, so I have high hopes. Thank you. Oof. Ta da! Should we first get the box out? Yeah, so yeah, we got the box out and packed the second time, which I think I never saw before that we, that Adam at least got a wheel that was packed two times. Ay, ay, ay. It smells very new, which means like plastic and chemicals. You approve? I approve. <laughs> aye, aye. I hope this won't go into the video, but if taking off a condom would be this exhausting, nobody would have sex. Okay. Whew. Now insert sexy music. So we got some of those, yeah, a lot of stickers, like usual, the typical don't write like this or that and some information. Please connect Kingsong app, unlock the wheel before usage. We shall do that. So what we're doing, um, they said you should use the Kingsong app, you can use the Kingsong app. It's supposed to work with darkness bot, so we're going with darkness bot to unlock the wheel. So it's on, then we can connect. They say just please write an email, something wrong happened, but I say not now. Okay, yes, settings, device. So we have now the King Song app because darkness spot didn't work. <laughs> so we can connect to it. Oh, it turned on automatically. Yep. Wow. What a service, what a service. Um, they'll be like, you want a new firmware update? And it's there's no yes or no, it's just okay. So I guess we're gonna go with that. They want to make me that I have an account, but the wheel is on, so maybe later. <laughs> so yeah, it is on. Um, what do we have? We have, my brain's fried, I thought. No, no worries. <laughs> so it's an 84 volt wheel with 2,200 what motor. <laughs> I'm very bad with remembering numbers. And it has 1,550 watt hour battery. Yes. Yes. Okay, those are the specs. You can also look them up online if you don't uh, want to see me struggle doing that again. Um, also say um, the range will, for my use case, probably around 100 kilometers or more, probably more. The website I think says also 120. So we, we just have to find out if that's true. Sounds like a range test. And then it's supposed to go up to 50 kilometers an hour after you ride your first initial 10 miles because you people are scary <laughs> on the road, <laughs> I guess. Most dangerous animal on this planet. A violent creature filled with hateful thoughts and a lust for blood. Teeth like razors to suck the meat from your bone. Yes, when all is said and done, she is a killer. But I think that's a great safety feature. I, I really much enjoy that and I don't want to go 50 right away, especially not in the city. Um, so it's not really that needed. I don't know what the actual max speed is. They didn't say that. No, but the initial one before you... Ah, uh, I think it's 20 or 25. It's gotta be rough. I don't want to be overtaken by a bicycle. <laughs> 
<laughs> but anyways, <laughs> we're going to find that out as well, how fast it can go in the initial first 10 kilometers, because I think that's also quite interesting. But yeah, what do we have? We have here two USB-A ports. We have the on-off, probably light as well. Yep. So it's like two beams. You can see that there. Two beams, upper beam, lower beam. No beam, incognito mode. Yes, and you see when you ride, you will also get the fancy master race PC RGB lights. And also here you see an indication when you stand still of the battery level, um, which can go up until here. And so it's like less than half full. So we definitely need to charge it before we go anywhere. But yeah, so that's like a neat feature. I think actually it will come in handy because especially in the winter, you don't want to like get out your phone all the time and look at that. So just like nice and because this wheel doesn't have a screen or anything because it's a bit of an older design. Then what else? We have the trolley handle, which is also one of the reasons why I chose to get this wheel. Wow. Because that's one hell of a trolley handle. It's like a little bit wobbly, but as soon as you ride with it, it feels very stable. Well, let's go back down onto the floor. Uh, what else do we have? We have the pedals. Very standard EUC pedals, I would just say. Pretty small, they seem, and with normal grip tape. They don't have a magnet, but just like a very rugged mechanism. I think it feels better than Godway. Yeah, it feels very rough. But, but, as we know, with like wrong way, and also that I was riding the Tesla usually with Nilla Nova foot plates, we already have. Nilla Nova foot plates um, to try out. I will also try out the normal ones just to see the comparison and if they're just like good enough sort of for normal uses. But we already got the Nilla Nova and we got even more accessories. We got those bad boys from EOC Clubhouse, which essentially is very cool because you don't need to switch out the entire foot plates but you can just switch out the grip tape part and the metal underneath, you can switch that out. They will think you have to unscrew the pedals. We will also figure that out, yeah. but <laughs> I will also test those because I think they're just like a very cool, easy option to upgrade if Nilla Nova is not available or too expensive, which is also fair enough. Then you have also some, some studs and maybe some new grip tape if this one in the beginning rubs off before they come with the post or anything. So that's also pretty cool. Yes. What else? We have the charge ports in the back. We have speakers also on this wheel. We have what I gather from, from the King Song website. There are four speakers and one subwoofer. So this wheel should sound pretty good. We can try it out now. No wait for the review. We will know it now. Um, what music? Can we just type Ooh. in NCS or something? No, no, no. Oh, okay. okay. We got, we're gone and we'll have the best music in the world on this wheel. There's only one good song, <laughs> basically, you can play on the EUC and everything else is just not allowed in the name of the law. So I, I don't make the rules. I'm just here to enforce them. Let's see. A bit muffled. A bit muffled. A bit muffled. now, double that's the rule of I write my wheel. Yeah, I think we've got enough of that. Um, I would say even though there are four speakers and one subwoofer, it uh, just sounds like a small little woof. And it's very muffled, especially the, the voice, you can't hear that well. I think if you just have like some beats, it's okay. If you have somebody in a group ride with a like better sounding wheel, maybe let them play the music. But if you want to listen to music on your wheel, it won't hurt you, is what I'm saying. And some other cool features. One more thing about the foot plates, they're pretty high up, um, which was one of the reasons why I wanted to get it, because with the Tesla, I was very often bumping over stuff and then falling, usually at speeds of five kilometers an hour, which is a small bit embarrassing, but hey. Then going further up, we have those two panels who are like, you can squish them, but not much, but it is one in the middle. It's way more squishable, which is great if your leg is resting against it. Then further on in the front, you have the light sensor that can notice if it's dark 
or bright outside and will thereby turn on the light in the night. Then on the back side, on top of the 16 by 3 inch wheel, we got a beautiful, beautiful mudguard with a reflection stripe. And here on the both sides, we got the backlight, the taillight. Not visible, but they should be when riding. And here, as said earlier, we have the speaker. I heard that some people close off the speaker just to make sure that there's no water ingress. And as we've heard, the quality of the speakers, I don't think it will change anything about the sound if you just close them off. It will stay keep, it will just be a, a little bit more muffled than before, but nothing tremendous. So I think that's... You want to put it on the stand? Yeah, we put it on the stand. Nice. And yeah, this is basically lift it in. Ta-da! Perfecto. Perfection. That's it, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I guess that's it. That's it. Boxing. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you feel really fancy, you might subscribe. See you next time. <laughs>